Alright, Nature Boy. So in this video, I'm going to be sticking to the album, uh, Pork Soda, version of the track. So to start out, we have the drums, and then the bass is going to come in for the uh, verse riff. Okay, so those notes are A6 and E7. And during this part, he makes use of the whammy bar, which I do not have. Um, just kind of going up and down with that constantly. He doesn't go down super low with that, just a little bit. And it creates that sort of strange rattly noise that you hear on, like, the intro of Spaghetti Western and during the uh, verses of My Friend Fats. And while he's doing that, he's just uh, tapping the notes with his left hand. So what you could do instead, and what I do, is to uh, slap those notes. And then to do some quick vibrato with the left hand. So in doing it that way, like without a whammy bar, you're going to be a little bit sharp because bending the string, you know, you're pitching up. Whereas with the whammy bar, you're pitching down, but it's, it's, it's pretty minute. It's not very noticeable difference. All right, and then the main riff's gonna come in, and that's gonna go like this. Okay, to slow that down a bit. Okay, so we're going to start with a power chord here at D6, uh, G8, strum down, slide down a fret, strum down again. So each time you come into this riff, either after verses or after the bridge or whatever, it's going to be like that. Uh, for the first time coming into the riff. However, after that, it's not like that. It's like we're going to have a uh, muted strum downward and then strum up with the uh, uh, power chord and slide down a fret and then uh, strum down. So again, first time coming into this riff and then after that we're going to have up next we are going to play a muted triplet um, whether you play this on the G or the D strings um, or both, it doesn't really matter. So that's going to be kind of like this. Alright, so next we have another uh, downward strum at the power chord at 5 7. So in live performances, that muted triplet actually isn't in there. So live, uh, it's going to be more like this. Alright, so next we have a triplet on the A string. So that's either like open A, muted note 6, or it's like muted note, muted note 6. It's a little tough for me to distinguish which of the two it is. So after that triplet, we're going to play an A6. And then muted strum down. And then repeat the riff, keep it going. Alright, so we're going to take all of that, that, uh, that pattern, and we're going to take that down two whole steps. So we're going to move that up a string, this way, and up a fret. When we move the power chord over, so like uh, A7, and then D9, and then, you know, down a fret. Um, we're actually going to throw the G string in there as well. So the first chord, instead of just A, 7, D9, we're going to have G9 in there as well. And then same thing for down a fret. So 
that's about it for the main riff. So going into verse 2, after the we're going to do another quick um, E7 and then play A6 and on the A6 start the vibrato again. Alright, and then after verse 2 we have a few fills here and that's going to go kind of like this. Alright, so we have our usual but instead of doing a we're just going to do so just the triplet, not the additional note after that and then we're going to come up here to uh, A9, DG11 and strum a chord there and slide down so like which then uh, skips the chord here so like and then we have just the triplet again with no you know no afterward and then we're going to do some fast finger style and slide up here to uh, E20 so after that we're going to do the main riff like normal and then we're going to do um, the, the thing we did before the so going into the next verse we have a quick A7 and then an A6 held down before starting the alright so going into the bridge uh, distortion on that final strum there uh, not on this but on the final one and then we have some uh, strange distortion noises which I think he's doing with the whammy bar so the first it's going to come in, and with that, we're going to start doing this. So one bar of this riff is going to be like one note, and then two notes, and then three notes. So repeating the three notes and then like the first one note kind of bleed together to make like four notes, so like... This note is A6, by the way, I forgot to say that. And then at 304, we are going to do a... So the pattern here is that whenever there's like a little fill like that, so like up to 7, or down to 4, uh, that's going to be like on the last um, three notes of the bar. So like... Or... So after that first... We're going to play the bar again like normal, and then we're going to do a bar with a 4 at the end of it, so like, next, one more uh, normal bar, and then the next bar is going to be like this. So that's going to be A6, um, E4, hammer on 5, muted note, 2 E5s, and then A4, hammer on 6. Okay, and then so second, uh, we're going to keep keep that going and then at 3 minutes uh, 12 seconds we have another one of those uh, six hammer on sevens again last three notes of the bar then the following bar is so the last three notes are going to be six and then nine nine on a and then our normal bar three times and then we have So that's A6, E4, hammer on 5, uh, 5, 5, hammer on 6, and then E, no, not E, A4, hammer on 6. 
So all together, like... Up next we have the faster bit. Alright, to slow that down a bit. start with A6 and then a triplet, a very fast aggressive triplet at D8. And speaking of that, this whole uh, section really uses a hard attack. Hard attack, not hard attack. Um, you want to be plucking the shrinks pretty hard and for that reason I've actually turned my volume knob down. Next note, G8 and then down to uh, D8 again, and then G6, hammer on 8, and I would be fretting the 8th fret notes with your uh, ring finger uh, to free up your pinky, because later we're going to be hitting a bar chord at 9, and then A6, uh, D8 triplet again, G8, uh, a quick a uh, quick note here at A6, just before the uh, DG9 bar chord. Okay, next, another. And then, A6, D9 triplet, G8, and then we're going to do two triplets at G9. So we're going to take all of that, play it twice, and then we're going to keep going with the uh, main part of that, the... Uh, continue with that. Then at around the three and a half minute point, after the we have this uh, little fill here. So that's a triplet at G9, and then a triplet of G889, and then a triplet at 11, and then D1109. Continue with our riff, and then we have a so it's going to start like, only there's no hammer on, it's just going to be uh, G6 instead of, okay, and then after that we have, that's DG8, uh, hammer on to 9, 9 on both strings, and then uh, G6, D9, G6. Keep going softly with the ones that end in so like and then that's G8 pull off to 6 D8 pull off to 6 take it down here uh, D4 hammer on 6 D4 A4 in this next section, the first bar is going to be like, so A6, muted note, A6, muted note, E4, hammer on 5, uh, two muted notes, and then 6, 6, 6, on to the next bar. A6, heated note, A6, muted note, E6, E6, and then um, A4, uh, muted note 6, muted note 6, hammer on 7. The third bar here, so that's uh, uh, 6, muted note 6. And then uh, three muted notes. And then six muted note. Uh, E6, four. 
last bar of this section. Six. Mute note, six. Uh, muted note, uh, four. And then A6, pull off to four. Um, E6, pull off to four. E4, hammer on six. A4. Next section where lyrics come in is going to be, um, so we're going to be fretting the A6 D G8 chord. And we're just going to be either strumming that or playing a uh, triplet upward. As to which of those two to play, um, it kind of randomly goes back and forth on the record and in live versions. Moving on to the final section of the bridge, the first part is going to go like this. Fretting that chord, it's going to be like repeated three times, so. Before just going back and forth on uh, D and G at eight. D7. Alright, so we have that from before. And then we're going to do a throw the on the end of that, so, and then, up here to G9, a triplet of 889, 11, and then 9, uh, D11, and then D987, Onto the final, uh, we're going to do something which is uh, pretty much exactly like something we've done earlier in the song. Alright, so yeah, it's the return of that riff from earlier. So after the uh, triplet at 9, 889. Uh, 11, D11, pull off to 9, which, you know, all of this we have done earlier, and then, only difference is, after that we're going to hit the 7, slow down a bit, triplet at uh, G11, hammer on to 14, uh, 12 again, D14, G12, D14, pull off to 12, slide down here, hitting the, uh, so we're going to hit D7 and open A at the same time, and the main riff's going to come back in, and at 4 minutes, 39 seconds, we have this fill here. All right, to play that slower. All right, so instead of uh, strumming the D6, G8 here, well, with the strum up, you know, after the meter strum down, instead of... We're going to come up here a whole step to uh, 8 and 10, and then take it down to 5 and 7. But instead of, uh, that additional note's not going to be there, it's just the triplet. And then we're going to jump up here and strum the, again, 
and then take that down a whole step to 6 and 8, uh, strum that twice, and then down to 5, 7, and then play the as you normally would before we do the thing like the beginning of this, so. And then at the part, uh, we're going to be playing the main riff uh, two whole steps down, uh, like before, but we're going to be playing it softly. At 5.03, we're going to come up here to hit this chord here at uh, A9, DG11. At 5.06 and later at 5.15, instead of starting with the as in uh, we're going to start with you know the A9 DG11 we're going to start there and then at 517 that same uh, sort of thing but instead of here it's going to be at 10 12 Again, at a you know uh, eleven and thirteen, but where you would start the riff with that, that's going to be kind of the last. Uh, how would I say this non-muted note of the song? Because after that is when we're going to start doing the uh, like muted strumming as Herb closes the song off. That's about it. Nature boy.